I had to look at Brother Evan too a couple times. He finally looked up. I said, I guess you want to just walk down there and get that down with me. So Sister Barbara, she was on her. I said, I, I, I got to get you one. I, 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 we going to make some noise in the Lord's house. And we going to pray. And she said, you know the rock. <laughs> I feel all right this morning. For God is truly good all the time. The scripture has been read. Let me let me let me get about my business. Uh, I don't know I'm doing my business. Right? Uh, 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 chapter 21, verse 6. That's where we began. 6 to 11. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. I could I could start right there. You and I are his disciples. He has sent us. He has commanded us uh, to go uh, and make disciples. Right? But, but, but that's a, that's, that's a uh, uh, message for another day. And brought the ass and the coat and put on them clothes. And they set him, him, Jesus, they own. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and straw them on in the way. And the multitude that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he that come in the name of the Lord. Uh, Hosanna in the highest. And when he was coming into Jerusalem, guess what? All the city was moved. Uh, and they were saying, who is this? Who, 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 who is this? Uh, and the multitude, they didn't say one of them. Uh, they said, the multitude said, this is Jesus. Uh, the prophet of Nazareth uh, of Galilee. Do you know who the man is? Uh, do you know who he is? Uh, for from, from that scripture, those words, uh, from a hero to a zero, how, how, how can that be? Mm -hmm. uh, we do know Jerusalem at that time was overflowing with people. They had come from all the countryside uh, in honor of the Passover, celebrating what God had done for their fathers and forefathers. He had done what? Delivered them from the hands of cruel people. And he had saved them. He had gave them land that they did not buy. And he just asked them to what? Do this in remembrance, like a community. Huh? Come and start this tradition huh? that you come and you offer a land huh? on this. So the city was filled. Uh, I wish you some time to go back and study. You know, just study. On the day that he came in, uh, uh, the significance of uh, on that day, if you go back and look in the Old Testament, it was the same day mm -hmm, uh, that there was the offer of mm -hmm, the lamb. Uh, uh, they supposed to go get the lamb uh, and let the lamb live in the house room for four days. Uh, uh, Jesus came into Jerusalem a day for four days. Uh, on the fifth day, they supposed to slaughter the lamb. Uh, uh, guess what happened on the fifth day for Jesus? He was slaughtered. Uh, mm -hmm. They were doing sacrifices back then to cover uh, and to be reminded. Uh, but here he was to what? Save you and I. And I often wondered, uh, have you ever thought about it? Uh, 
Most of your Bibles have a heading, uh, and it says, The Triumphant uh, Entry. Anybody know what triumphant means? Uh, help me out, help me out. What does that word mean? To win. To win. Uh, triumphal Entry. What is winning? Uh, what is winning? As we get this. Uh, this morning, gospel reading, what we just got to read to you. It's in its beginning of one of the momentous weeks in antiquity. This day, today, celebrates what we know as the week God suffered. The whole week, He talked, He did everything. You know, and it is to remind us uh, it is one of the most important weeks. Of history. So you need to go look up Monday, uh, M A U N D Y, mm -hmm. Monday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It proceeds Good Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know why you celebrating Good Friday. Uh, I say all that because you already know the story so well that it's hard sometimes to find something new. To talk about huh, on this story. Uh, so, so I would like to ask you a question this morning. Uh, what do you think? Uh, mm -hmm, uh, what do you think happened uh, that in the space of one week, short week, uh, that Jesus uh, could go from being the most popular person? On the planet uh, to public enemy number one. No. How could he go from a hero to a zero in one week? Huh? We all know today is what Palm Sunday. Uh, it is today that the historical triumphal uh, interest of Jerusalem's Christ into Jerusalem is celebrated. And as I said earlier, and today is that day that marks the beginning of the last week of our Lord here on earth. Uh, I'm going to say it anyhow, but uh, I, got here, I, thought, I got it wrote down, so let, let, let me say it anyway. It said, needless to say, uh, in other words, I don't need to say, you already know, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, uh, that at this time, when Jesus is coming uh, into Jerusalem, Jesus was very well known. Uh, uh, it's just like, uh, like men have said, when they speak about someone that is popular or famous. If I say Muhammad Ali, uh, most of everybody in here, uh, you know of him. You don't know him personally, but his name is what? Well known, right? Why? Why was Jesus so well known? Uh, because his reputation uh, had preceded him. Uh, what you mean, preacher? Uh, well, in other words, uh, many of these people gathered that had they either witnessed uh, or heard about Jesus' miracles and the signs that he had done. Uh, many, many, many of these people there they had. Uh, heard about how he healed numerous people, uh, huh? restored sight to the blind, uh, uh, making the lame walk, uh, casting out demons, uh, healing the lepers, uh, huh? and perhaps of all of those, I'll tell you, the most powerful of all the signs were how he returned Lazarus back to life uh, after being dead for four days. Uh, his reputation, uh, his ministry, uh, 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 had been out there. Uh, and he had, he had a great impact on the world back then. Uh, his world back then, it was a lot now. Sometimes we, we got a problem with uh, talking about Jesus uh, and how he impacts our lives. Uh, uh, and that's why, huh? That's why, that's why the people were in the streets. That's why the people were shouting. 
That's why the people were what? Jumping, huh? They poured out to receive the one that they saw as the Messiah. But something, but something happened. Huh? Something happened that changed their minds and their opinions of these people. The same people who had gone to receive him so joyfully, cut down trees and put them on.
want you to know you God's child. You know better. Uh -huh. And he brought you out and he delivered you. And you turn and go right back in your nest. Guess what? He'll let you find yourself right there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He'll put something right there on you. Uh -huh. So the Roman Empire, who governed them now and with the iron hand, uh, and all of these realities, uh, because all of this was going on, uh, the people felt impotent, uh, oppressed, uh, because the Roman had come in, and much like our uh, government today, they have imposed tariffs, uh, taxes on them, uh, uh, strange restrictions, things they couldn't do. Uh, and most of all, crucifixion. Huh? Uh, that was their favorite method of killing back then. Huh? Was crucifixion. Huh? And it was something that had become a common occurrence. Huh? It is for this reason, huh? and many others, that the Jewish people was anxious for the Messiah to arrive. I'm going through all of this down here. Guess what? We have all of this going on. Rejoice when the king comes uh, because he's going to take me out of this, right? Uh, and when he comes, he does. None of that. The people were anxious, huh? Waiting for the king to arrive, uh, who would free them from the suffering uh, that they were experiencing. Uh, and when Jesus rode into Jerusalem to ride the coat, uh, and due to his reputation, huh? These people all saw it as a prophecy coming true. Well, the people saw it as a prophet and said in Zechariah 99, 61, see y'all, when we read, rejoice greatly, huh? O daughter of Zion, shout, huh? O daughter of Jerusalem, huh? Behold thy king coming up unto thee. Uh, he is just, uh, having salvation. Uh, he's lowly uh, and he's right. So you got something to do today, you know? Yes, I can shout. Yes, I can jump. Uh, and I've been waiting. Uh, I've been waiting and waiting. And now he's here. Things are about to change. Uh, huh? Things are about to change. Uh, they were all fairly convinced uh, that he would fulfill the prophecy. Uh, that they would finally be free. Uh, I asked earlier, did you want to be free? Huh? Huh? This multitude was praising Jesus. Uh, they were lifting up their voices in joyful celebration. Uh, but most importantly of all, uh, they were lifting up their hearts to him. Uh, they were doing this because they felt in their heart uh, that their Messiah had arrived. Uh, how many of us here today? Uh, another question for you. Uh, how many of us here today see Jesus in the same light? Huh? Who here can help me live Jesus? Huh? Who, 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 who in the house huh? Huh? can lift up his voice right now huh? and shout huh? Huh? with the same joy right? uh, that those folks are? How many can say? Uh, what is he saying? Who can shout at the loudest? Huh? Uh, uh, 
Wake that person next to you. Uh, uh, they asleep. Uh, just, 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 just wake them and say, help me praise the Lord this morning. Uh, help, help me praise the Lord. Uh, you see, all of us here can lift up our voices uh, and jump for a spot to the Lord. Catch it, catch it now. All of us here can lift up our hands and heart to God uh, and welcome Him into our lives. Uh, but, 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 what happens? Huh? Now, after he enters our lives, huh? this way will this will get rough huh? When he enters our lives, huh? and God does not act the way you want him to, huh? or expected him to, huh? Huh? what happens? Huh? When everything uh, that we have is turned upside down, Do you continue to shout? Huh? Do you continue to shout, help me live, Jesus? Huh? Do you continue to shout, Hosanna in the heights? Huh? The sad majority, the reality of the majority of you don't. Huh? Instead of the Lord, I don't want to say I'm going to When you go to work, huh? so you can pray your way out of some of this stuff. Huh? Whose image 
is on this. Uh, whose writing is on this? Uh, they said, Caesar's. Uh, did he say unto them, Give unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's? Uh, huh? And unto God, uh, give unto him the things of God. Uh, this man named Jesus, uh, in whom they had deposited their faith. Uh, who would be their next king according to prophecy? Uh, he did not try to assemble an army. Uh, this man, Jesus, in whom uh, they had deposited their faith, uh, did not try to unite the people uh, and the leaders of different communities. Uh, Jesus did just what they did not expect. Uh, well, what did he do? Huh? Instead of uniting the leaders and the community, he revealed unto the people uh, their sins and their wicked ways. Uh, this is something that is very evident. Uh, in Matthew 21, we read, and Jesus went into the temple of God. Uh, this, this was during that week. During that week. Uh, and he cast them all out. Huh? Huh? That's who was said because oh, there's in the church. Huh? Sad? Does that, that, that sound for me? Huh? Are we in the church? Huh? Fish camps. Fish fries. Huh? Bingo. What are we trying to do? We're trying to raise somebody. Why don't you just pay your tithes? Huh? Huh? See, 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 God, God got away or showing us in that right, right? He cast them out. He put over the tables. Uh, and all the seats of them that sold dove. Uh, he said it to them, it is written, my house, uh, my house. We did say this was God's house. Huh? My house uh, shall be called a house of what? House of pride. Huh? A house of prayer, and you have made it a den. Oh, you don't want to wait a minute. He's born son. <laughs> oh, don't, don't say that. Don't, don't, don't say that. Huh? Don't, don't say that. This man who will be the next king according to the prophecy huh? did not attempt to unite the leaders and raise an army. Huh? He went on and said something else. Huh? He kept on. Huh? They were saying, oh, what? <laughs> come on, Jesus, you're the seven left, you're the daughter left. No, don't keep digging that, man. Don't keep digging that. He's not no, no. woe to you. Uh -huh. You scribes uh -huh. and Pharisees, uh -huh. hypocrites, uh -huh. for you are lying unto white sepulchres, uh -huh. which indeed appear beautiful outward, uh -huh. but within full of dead men's bones, uh -huh. and all they are cleanliness. How love one die. And we go out and buy the most expensive gas that we can get huh? and throw right down here. Guess what? Huh? In a couple of minutes, guess what? The gas is still good. Huh? But inside, I remember what? Dead. Dead men bone. We come in here, we look good, we dress good, we smell good. Huh?
tell you, it's very easy for us uh, to praise God when everything is going with them, uh, or going the way we think they should go. Uh, it is very easy to praise and worship God when the circumstances appear totally favorable. Uh, it is very easy to maintain joy in our hearts uh, when Christ glorifies himself uh, and the obstacles in our lives are vanish. Uh, but, 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 but what happens when things don't go our way? Huh? What happens when the circumstances do not appear so favorable uh, and we begin to experience difficulties? Uh, what happens uh, when Jesus just won't act the way you want him to act? Uh, or expect him to act. Uh, if we are honest with ourselves, uh, all of us here uh, will admit uh, that the joy in our heart uh, is sometimes it dissipates uh, and praise and worship in God uh, becomes something kind of difficult to do. Uh, but as his children, this, this is what all I'm trying to say. Uh, we need to understand that God's way is not Way. Uh, his thoughts are not our thoughts. And we need to trust in Him. Uh, even when we don't understand it, uh, and still claim Him as our hero, uh, uh, for indeed He is. Uh, you see, God wants to liberate the people from Satan. Uh, and because God did not have To see uh, and people to this day fail to see uh, that he, Jesus uh, was in fact opening the doors to the kingdom of God uh, because God did not act or perform the way they expected uh, they failed to understand uh, and to this day uh, many of us uh, do not understand uh, that God didn't come here to take up taxes. Uh, God didn't come here uh, to pass you on the back. Uh, God came to give us uh, eternal life. Uh, oh, oh yeah, they wanted to be liberated from the Roman oppression. Uh, we want to be liberated from this Congress. Uh, but God planned was much, much more. God wanted to liberate them from Satan's dominion. But because they could not understand these things, because Jesus did not act the way they expected him to act, the joy of his arrival quickly died. The praise to his name was silenced. And they all separated themselves from him. Why? Because Jesus did not act the way they expected. Uh, everything that they had learned, uh, everything that they had witnessed, uh, everything that they had heard, uh, all of these miracles, all of these things, uh, everything and everything, uh, it was as if it had been erased. He, he, he had done nothing. Uh, we see it today. Many, many, many have turned they're back on Jesus. Uh, because things are not going the way we want them to go. Uh, uh, we, we want God to uh, stop mistreating the mistreatment uh, of our own people. Uh, we want God to stop uh, the unfailing jailing of our people. Uh, we want God uh, to stop uh, the unnecessary killing uh, by the police. Uh, we want Jesus uh, to fix us so uh, we too uh, can have the same joy, uh, the same pain uh, as our.
to be treated. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm talking about me now. Uh, with all of that uh, going on uh, in my life. Uh, but you know, uh, in spite of all of that, uh, let me say, uh, you will still Oh!